Hello. Thank you for joining me up here in the clouds. I appreciate your time. We'll soon be rocketing back to Earth, don't you worry. <laughs> hey there. Getting myself involved in a bit of a rare evening session. To unwind, as twere. I'm hoping that Pavel may take pity on us and allow us to do a new, uh, island scope out. Still on my never-ending crusade to get that sapphire-encrusted gold panther. Mmm, it sounds delicious. Alright, let's see what we got. I suppose I'll need to, uh... Enlighten myself. <laughs> Whatever the right word would be. There we are. Alright. Let's exit the submarine and see if he uh, just needs a minute. A moment of privacy, perhaps. He'll do the right thing. It's only a matter of time. Looks like we're down in the industrial section. Off near Merryweather headquarters. Hello, Merryweather headquarters. Oh, I dare not pick anyone off the pier. It's hardly my place. All right, there's Lester. Clear the run. <laughs> Clear the runway, Lester. Pavel's coming in hot. Any minute now. Pavel's gonna be real hot and he's gonna be coming in. Mm hmm. What did I tell you? Have I ever led you astray except for those, oh, several dozen times? But those were an accident. <laughs> Good day slash evening to you as well. Hello, hello. So nice to see you in the chat. All right. Now let's spool it up. Get in my uh, smuggler's jacket. Eventually. I guess I have to get out to the plane first. I got excited there. Gather intel. All right. So we are down near uh, the airport. We could shortcut this just a little bit. Let's do so. You know me and my shortcuts. All right, up to Grapeseed. That'll be fine. Thanks, Sanchiansky. Oh. Why, thank you. Smoking jacket, smuggling jacket. I can pull it off. Toss it my way. Ah, oh, God, not right into the propeller blades. That looked like a nice jacket. Well, no sense thinking about it now. It's gone. It's tattered. Cry over spilled, uh, silk? <laughs> Unless you're a silkworm, in which case, please do. It's your life's work, and you just spilled it everywhere. Ah. Oh. Cry away, my friend. Alright. Into the Alamo Sea with us. Well, not directly into it, more like, you know, ad adjacent, sea adjacent. In a sandy area of safety, is what I mean to say, obviously. I'm sure you got that from my original statement. It's rather foggy today. I don't remember authorizing that. Lighthouse, is that you? Oh. We've arrived in just a few seconds. I was a little premature. <laughs> There's no explaining it. 
It's just wrong. And we've arrived, more accurately now. Just hide behind this small embankment. That makes all the difference. Oh, thank goodness for this embankment. All right. Sorry you didn't die instantly like the others. That was my bad. Ooh, everyone has goodies. And this guy brought juice. Oh, nope, that's his blood. Never mind. Oh, don't drink it! Ah! Uh, <laughs> Didn't want to see that. <clears throat> you do whatever uh, feels right. I don't mean to shame you. open the, uh, the classic Daredevil's window there. I appreciate that. I do appreciate a good Daredevil's window. <laughs> Soupy sells shady seashells by the smuggling seashore, does he? I'll have to contact the authorities about that. See if I can schedule him for a nice beating about the thighs. Mostly about the thighs. Okay, I'll get a little more altitude, just in case. Seems like you're asking a lot from me, game. I swear, if I have to adjust my course by even the slightest, I will be put out. Alright, this is the last hill, and then it's all just smooth sailing over the industrial district from here. I wish I had some, oh, easy listening jazz music for you, but I don't. You're stuck with just this. This is more like a sitcom opening. This is not easy listening jazz, but you just sit back and enjoy it. Sometimes life gives you a daredevil's window. That's all I know. I, I didn't write the entirety of the lyrics. I didn't know this was going to happen. Let's, let's cut down on it somewhat, but uh, the song could have been longer, to tell you the truth. We're not yet to the peanuts portion of our flight, and, well, the people are getting restless. I say we go for peanuts early. Anyone? Anyone? Not you. You're allergic. But the rest? Honey nuts. <laughs> that does not help the persuasion. Nobody who's tried to convince you to do something uh, should ever use the phrase honey nuts. Just t take my word for it. You back out of there as quick as you can. They are not your friend. Hey, would you like to get in my van? <laughs> I've got a handful of honey nuts for you. That's a situation where you do a quick, uh, quick heel turn. Get yourself out of there. Maybe you don't fully expose your back. I don't know. Do whatever feels right in the moment. I'm very, very much hoping that this is really anything but bearer bonds. But if it's our old friend bearer bonds, oh well. I guess I'll take the million. Oops. Oh, yeah. I know the drill. Here are my armpits. Inspect away. <laughs> oh, it tickles. Oh, it just stop. Stop it. Ah, oh, that was fun. Thank you. All right, I'll wait over here.
Once you leave the airstrip, do not let the guards get a good look at you. The disguise is not perfect. They see you clearly while you're in the wrong place. They will put two and two together and make bullets, yes? Are you kidding? I just got intimately tickled and he didn't see through the disguise. How much closer am I going to be inspected later? What have you signed me up for, Pavel? Is there like a wet t-shirt contest I don't know about? I did not agree to any of this. But I trust you. I trust you. Oh, rough bushing. Sorry to my forearms. No time for antiseptic now. Oh, that went way wide. Oh, so wide and wet. <laughs> what a shame. All right. We're, uh, we're going to have to find a new plan, as I have lost my bike. That was some poor angle work. That's on me. Oh, hey, up there. I don't think he could really see me if I hugged the wall, but I also don't really feel like taking chances. Good evening and welcome. Alright, let's see if we can do this the old-fashioned way. We'll grab the uh, four-wheeler on the other side of the gate as long as we can get past in time. And uh, it'll be fine. We'll get back on track. They just had to make it interesting. Alright, that guy's leaving, that guy's turning that way. I will avoid the camera. Watch out for patrolling jeeps. I think we're good. And back on track. Sorry about the slight delay there. Eee. Arr, she turns like a whale. Very slowly and insubordinate. Don't care for it. I went way too far. Eee. Ah! I didn't go far enough. Okay. No, I'm a professional. I've done this plenty of times. Trust me. <laughs> You'd never know it to look at me, but... There we go. A night stream indeed. Hello, hello. So nice to see you guys. Wide and wet. Ah, what a time to show up. <laughs> So we're just not doing phrasing at all, then? Are we... The signal box could have moved since you were last here, Captain. I'm sorry. Upstairs, downstairs. You will need to look around. I did need to look around. But uh, I think you were a little worried for nothing, Pavel. Because it turned out to be 14 inches in front of my face. Good evening. Hello, hello. Alright, what do we got here? Maybe? No, no. <laughs> Let's try this. Oh, so close. Spin up another one, so sorry. Don't want to get discovered. We should have access to the cameras. Let's get a little height. Let us do some window shopping, yes? Let us uplift our spirits. And callous our palms. Ouchies. Ah. I, I could have been a little more dispirited and given up these calluses, I think. I should have thought this through. Alright, this should be plenty. What do you have for us, El Rubio? What do you got, Blondie? Oh yes, yeah, some of you did misc. Uh, misc, yes, quite a heavy frisking. You misked the frisk. 
but that's why we we record these things <laughs> so that we can see the frisking oh as many times as we want slow it down speed it up zoom in and out ah pink diamond this is lucrative much better than barabon And despite our calloused hands and our uplifted spirits, he cannot stand to live. <laughs> this is not replicatable behavior for the curious. But hey, it teleports you to the plane. Okay, so now we can get that uh, pink diamond heist started anew. I wonder if we should try anything crazy this time. We're just, uh, you know, the same old, same old. Hello there. Yes, indeed, not so silent zoomies. Finally. The people demand to hear from you, sir. What say you? Ah, uh, um. Toodles? I... Toodles! Give me that sparrow. I'm sorry, Pavel, I don't have time for your pleasantries this evening. You just give me the sparrow. No, you haven't done anything wrong, Pavel. Just leave me alone, for heaven's sake. We'll work this out later. I'm sorry I treated you that way, Pavel. I was being frisked quite roughly earlier, and it's left a mark on me. An invisible, indelible mark. I did not care for it, Pavel. <sighs> Thank you for listening. I'm okay now. I'm fine. No, no, no. You continue to eat the beans. I'm full. Oh, hey, I didn't know you guys were still here. Sorry, I was just uh, working it out there with Pavel. You probably heard it's. <laughs> You'll have to pardon me. I'm losing my mind, uh, as always. Typical. Uh, what is it? Wednesday. What is it? What day is it? What? <laughs> No icon, but I'm gonna assume that's mine. Strange. Yay, still works. Alright. So, we'll see how many of these we can get uh, done. I'm not sure how much time I have, but we'll find out together. And then I'll leave you in a cloud of smoke. But you'll probably see me scurrying out through the back of the cloud. It's not... I can't afford, like, a whole big production. You're just gonna have to bear with me. A little suspension of disbelief required on the audience's part. That's... Sort of a natural social contract. I... Do all the work for you. I'm sorry, that argument with Pavel is just... It's upset the whole balance of everything. Alright, what do we got here? Weapon loadout first? I consider myself to be a crack shot. <laughs> I feel a bit braggadocious picking this one. It's, it's not accurate. It just has the sniper rifle. Alright, I'd better see if Meriwether HQ pops up here. Or if anything pops up, ever, ever again. Yeah, that looks like Meriwether HQ to me. Oh, there it is. All right. We could just do it. We, 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 we could just do it. It's fine. I <laughs> Should we take a, a poll in the chat? How many people want to blow up the Meriwether helicopter? And how many would like me to just follow it and, and actually complete the mission like a normal person? I'm happy to uh, follow your lead. 
Good evening, and thank you very much. I absolutely am. And I hope you are having fun as well. Welcome, welcome. For as long as we may have you. <laughs> long enough for a blood sample, I hope. Get the teeth. I mean, the... Uh, syringe. That's the word. Syringe, yes. Ah, there's some fond childhood memories. It's not important. Alright, I'm seeing uh, uh, one boom. I'm going to take that as all the encouragement I need. Here we go. <laughs> and thank you. You've decided for me. Now I will take the consequences from here. Put them in my satchel pouch. Why are the consequences wet? Why? What? Approaching Merryweather HQ in our submarine. It's a very musical evening, you'll have to pardon me. This really isn't an appropriate time to be using those terms, though. And I forget I said anything. Alright, I think I have to get on the other side of the roof here. The angles are working against me. little further. And let's try here. There we go. Alright, spinning it up again. Hopefully this won't require too many tries. He says every time before it requires like seven tries. Uh, oh, sorry, that was my spleen bursting from all the deception. Sickens me. Right there in the spleen. Here we go. Cracking that shot. In Russia, we call this failure. In America, default success, yes? And we're back. Hey, everybody. <laughs> back to Merryweather HQ. Oh, ah, oh, ah, I pressed the wrong button. What a fool. Oh, I hear your stinging laughter. Ah, oh, it burns me. <laughs> All right, here we go. Coming this summer, it's Peter Lewis in The Search for Blue November. Where would the American economy be without private military companies, eh? Starring Shane Cannery. Quest has been made in the chat for the use of an accent while using the submarine. Perhaps one of Jacques Cousteau, which this is not an accurate impersonation of. <laughs> it is in fact very offensive, and I apologize immediately. <laughs> but it is somehow submarine appropriate. And uh, strangely... The Italian now. I, uh, I'm losing it. All right, here we go again. Press the right button this time. There's so many. I have myself strapped into this chair six ways to Sunday. Oh, is that the uh, the song from Red October? It's amazing. <laughs> Alright, here we go again. Oh, so many booms. I'm so sorry. This will all be worth it, I promise. We'll do a little hatchetry to make up for this intensely boring uh, glitch. 
world I've created. What a hideous glitch dimension. <laughs> you have actual tears. Oh no. The accent was truly that horrible, but I'm sorry to hear it. You know one of the great benefits of private sector military? Always fresh supply of cutting-edge, unregistered firearms. Oh, yay. It got him. Oh, it's my privilege. My privilege to, uh, absolutely butcher a beautiful language slash dialect. Alright, please, 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 give me a building this time. No more Meriwether HQ. What do I have to do to get to you? Pavel, get on your knees, just in case. For begging, just... Nothing weird. Oh, come on, Meriwether HQ. You're being, well, well, I'll just say it, you're, you're being a bit of a nuisance. I'm sorry I had to get so harsh with you. So yeah, well, I definitely could have been there and back by now, but yeah, it's fine. The hatchetry, see, the hatchetry is what we're after. <laughs> this is a nightmare of Groundhog Day-esque proportions. Way too close to the building. I don't know why I get this close every time. If I stayed out in the open water a bit more, we wouldn't be having these problems. I wouldn't need to maneuver every time. I like to keep it interesting. <laughs> Alright. This is the one. I can feel it. If it's not this one, well, someone's going the right way for a slap. It's me. I'm, I'm not threatening anyone, but me. And I paid extra for that. All right. Come on. It's hatchetry time. Yes, it is. It is indeed hatchetry time. All right. Bye, Pavel. Love you. Don't eat all the beans. <laughs> Who am I kidding? You, you go ahead. You go ahead. It's fine. All right. So sorry about all that. When it comes to our weapons supply, Let's see if I can do this quick enough. I think last time I tried to do this, I got shot before I reached the first guy. Take one out and then run for the other one. That would probably be a little wiser. So if they see me, I don't have the potential for two immediate headshots. One immediate headshot that I might survive, as I have so little usable gray matter up there. It's not a dig at my intelligence. I've just been playing a lot of this GTA. It's, I've seen my brain spilled over more surfaces throughout town than I can count. Gently. Gen gen gently, I said. I said very gently. All right. Mm -hmm. Always a little concerned by that hop step there. Okay. I'm going to try to do some hatchetry. If it doesn't work, we'll just... Oh. Well, I don't know what we'll do. I haven't thought that far ahead. <laughs> Why are you pressuring me? <laughs> okay, this shipment will be kept separate from their regular weapons. Look I'm for trying this. Somewhere. It may be hidden. Yeah, that'll do it.
I ought to do it. I'm still rampaging as I hack the laptop. It's just like that movie Sneakers with Sir Ben Kingsley. Check it out. Great film. Great film. My voice is my passport. Verify me. You know, no, do check it out. <laughs> All right, 83, where are you? Where are you, you sad eyes? Can you open the locker now? Yes, Pavel, it appears I can. I'm doing it even as we speak. Give me a moment. And the hobbits, for pity's sake. In my experience, the kind of I mean, don't give me the hobbits. I don't want to own the hobbits. They're, they're sentient creatures. This has gotten into some weird territory. Oh, I've pressed the wrong button. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, we're in for a rough time. <laughs> oh, this was a shame. I was supposed to exit by the roof, as you might have guessed. What a shame. All right. Let's uh, see what we can do here. Hmm. Okay, come on. Don't kill me until I can get to my buzzard, and then we'll be good, good friends. Tovarish! Come on, my friend! And my Kasatka's the other way. See that big, big yellow icon there? Yep. Yep, that's the one. Bit rough on the escape, but hopefully we're in the clear now. Why did I say that? Oh God! Why on earth did I say that? Now something's definitely going to happen. It's going to turn my smile into a frown. I think, regrettably, I had better go find something to eat here, as much as I would like to do one more prep mission. I, I'm realizing we're past the half-hour mark, and I better not hold you too long. Though it has been lovely catching up on an evening here. End of the day, when I'm all gravelly and weird, filled with strange thoughts and bitterness, Ah, you're really getting the best of me now! <laughs> oh, this isn't my, uh, um, yes, this is not my parkable helicopter. Sorry, Kosatka. I was asking too much of you. Alright. So, we have our crack shot weaponry. I will figure out the rest of the setup next time. Oh, I am, I am sorely tempted to just try to do the Kasatka mission real quick, but uh, oh, <laughs> the indecision! While I'm here, uh, let's just do it. C uh, come on, why not? Submarine Kasatka. I'm so sorry to uh, to lie to you, to flippity floppity. Here we go. Hopefully this will be short. And I would love to spend another a short time with you. you Alright, heading out to the test site. Good old Procopio Beach. That's the beach where I keep my Procopio, if you're curious. That's why it's called that. I <laughs> should probably know what words mean before I make jokes about them. I have no idea.
Oh, you're going to bring me a plate if I keep playing. Okay. I accept. I accept and spicy. <laughs> if there are uh, two choices to be made. Headset. Don't you get poppy now. Don't you make me spank you. Alright, we'll try to do this really quickly. by my hoot. Sorry. Twitch auto-censorship there submarine. caught that. Dive, dive, I used dive. a very naughty phrase. Alright. There's their sub. That's what I like to see. I like to see another friendly sub out in the, out in the deep. Let's hope that I can do this without wasting a good life and taking a little ski-doo journey. I would hate, I repeat, hate to take a ski-doo journey. Bye. At least I'll take a little uh, swim in the ocean to wash out these blood stains, though. That'll feel real good. That's gonna be nice. <gasps> oh, goodness. It's so salty. I feel alive! I still haven't decided what the best weapon is for in here. A nice close quarters shotgun seems to do the trick. This combat shotgun, particularly, from Kayo Perico, is nice. But it's like, it can just get you so quickly. I wish there was an easier way to not put yourself in the firing line. Like with the up and atomizer, say. I've never been one for grenades very often, so that's sort of out. Couldn't tell you why. I just don't like to hear people shout, Grenade! That's, I, I try to avoid that, wherever I can. We might have pulled this off. He says, and then he drowns to death, unable to get back into his submarine like that one time. You remember. You remember that one time. <laughs> okay. We're in. Thank you for bearing with me. A few extra moments there. Just wanted to get those two, since they're kind of one-offs. Two-offs? No, that, that's making it sound weird. Just wanted to get those two done. Thank you very much for your patience. Well, I guess Pavel's down eating beans, then. Pavel? Are you down here eating beans? I have to find out. Huh. He is not eating beans. Okay. Are you wrenching, Pavel? Where are you? I'm feeling lonely. Your warm touch is the only cure. All right, well, I'm going to die alone. Pavel wants nothing to do with me, and so... <sighs> oh, well. Let me take off my mask before I wave at you, so that you'll recognize it's me. Like a when you shave and there's a baby, and then suddenly the baby doesn't recognize you. I've been told. Thank you very much. For bearing with me here. We'll be back uh, to complete the rest of this setup for our pink diamond next time. Oh, hello! I'm so sorry. Hello and goodbye. You caught me just in time here. So nice to see you. And I will hopefully see you again very, very soon. Thank you for your patience. We'll complete this off and grab that pink diamond next time. Bye for now. <laughs>